Okay guys, today I wanted to talk to you about eating snow. A lot of people think that you can just pick up snow off the trail if you're lost in the woods and whatnot, and you can just eat it and not even have to worry about boiling it. But that's the wrong kind of way to think because if you eat snow, it's going to rob your body of the heat. So it's going to take your body's heat and it's going to use that heat in your body to melt the snow. So you always want to be sure to boil it. You shouldn't have to worry about ever eating it, especially if you're lost in the woods. But well, we're going to make a fire, show you guys how to do it right. Just keep watching. Okay guys, as you can see it's starting to melt some. I filled that container completely up with snow, but you're just going to need to keep adding snow to it because just because it's completely filled up with snow doesn't mean that there's going to be the same amount of water in it. So just kind of keep adding as much snow as you want. I'm not going to add much more, but I'll try to get clean snow and don't use yellow snow obviously and it doesn't really need to be boiled as much as it needs to be warmed up to the point that where it melts and that it's warm when it goes into your body that way you don't have to use your stored body heat to melt the snow okay guys I just pulled it off the fire a minute ago we're gonna let it cool off and then we're gonna have a drink. Okay guys, we let it cool down. And there are some bits of sticks and pieces of ash in it, but that's not gonna hurt nothing. It's not bad. It's good drinkable water. Thanks for watching my video guys, I appreciate it, subscribe, I have a lot more like it.